Hey guys, welcome back to uh, my channel. I'm going to be having my, um, I guess it's a little over a one month um, braces update. Uh, yesterday I went in and I got um, rubber bands. So I kind of feel like I look like a vampire with them on, um, just based on how they are positioned. Uh, but in this video, I will talk to you about um, my rubber bands, even though I just got them, but how I feel about them. Um, and then some tips and tricks for getting braces when you very, very first um, get them on. Um, what I kind of learned throughout this month and what um, I wish I knew before I got my braces. Um, it'll just kind of be a little helpful for um, hopefully if you're getting your braces soon. Um, or just some tips if you already have your braces. So yesterday I went in and I thought that I might have been getting my um, wire tightened um, just because you know you go in and you're like okay what I'm going to be getting or doing um, but um, I went in and I was like oh I'm probably going to be getting rubber bands and I did indeed get rubber bands. I actually got the um, RAM ones. So, he said something about two, I don't know if he meant, my orthodontist said something about two, I don't know if he meant um, two rubber bands, or this is the size they're in, I don't know. Um, but I have those, uh, which are kind of annoying to get in. I know it will be a learning curve of, get, of getting them in, um, but it is quite difficult. I have to wear them all the way um, from the back. Um, molars all the way to my canine, so pretty much the two farthest apart hooks on either side. And what he pretty much said is, um, because I have my incision gaps, he pretty much said that, um, because my wire is kind of closing that, he's making sure this canine and all, all these teeth don't, um, get pushed forward, they need to kind of stay in place and that'll kind of, these rubber bands will help that not only keep this in place but help push these back and close up these gaps properly. So I'm excited for that. Um, yesterday when I first got them on, they really didn't hurt. Um, of course when you get all your elastics taken out um, to get new ones, the pressure point just goes down immensely. Um, but the fact that um, it didn't really hurt when I got everything in. I was like, okay, this is great. Um, I went to bed and I woke up this morning and everything was just in so much pain. Um, not only was like my teeth in pain, but the inside of your mouth when you have braces, it just rips it up. Um, so I had sores down here, I had a sore up there, um, and it was just dreadful. Um, and I, I go through having sores inside of my mouth every now and then, but it just, my mouth was covered in them, and it was awful. Um, so that's what happened um, there. Pain-wise, I guess I have a low tolerance for pain when I thought I had a high tolerance for pain. I keep watching all these videos of people with braces and their pain level and how awful it is. It really isn't that bad. Um, Last night, um, when I kind of had them on for 12 hours, after I was done with work and I was on my way home, it did start hurting a lot. Um, but, you know, you take your ibuprofen and it just kind of goes away. Um, you really, really need your ibuprofen and your Advil when it comes to rubber bands and power chains. They're, they're pretty painful, but again, they're not unbearable where I'm just kind of sitting here and I'm like, oh my gosh this is awful, what am I going to do, um, type of pain, um, but you do, you w want to continue eating, just like when you get your wire tightened, anytime you visit your orthodontist afterwards, eat softer foods, um, but I'm kind of getting into my tips, so let me just finish up my month update, um, but yeah, uh, it's been pretty good, um, I know a lot of people when talking about my braces and experience, they're like, oh my gosh, I can totally tell already that your teeth are getting pushed back and your gaps are getting smaller, and I'm so excited for that, um, and I can't wait, again, just looking back at my other video, just 
how it looks, it is, there is a difference, and I can totally see that, and I'm very excited for that. Um, but now I'll be getting into my tips, so get ready for that. So tips for braces. Um, I don't have Damon braces, I have traditional braces, and I really wanted Damon braces in the beginning, um, but my orthodontics doesn't, didn't have them, so I had to get clear ceramic braces, and that's what I have on top. Um, if I would have known uh, just the struggles with clear braces and then using clear elastics, um, I probably wouldn't have gotten them. Um, so if you have the option for getting demon braces, clear or non-clear, um, and you can afford them, get them, because I've heard great things about them. I don't personally have them, but if I had the chance to get them, I would have gotten them. Um, but getting clear ceramic braces, they do stain, um, your rubber band stain, and it's really hard to maintain. Um, if you already have clear braces, something that I would recommend is drink with a straw with every single type of drink you have. Um, even with warm beverages or cold beverages. I drink my coffee with a straw. I remember for my first month um, I started drinking with a straw and I didn't drink with straws. They're a major help um, with hot coffees, with teas, with sodas. I don't drink soda but I know sodas can be um, very staining towards your braces um, and your teeth and your elastics. So drink with a straw, that'll cut it down immensely. Um, when the very first visit I didn't drink with a straw and I just noticed just in those two weeks my elastics changing color and it was awful. Um, and then the second time around I drank through a straw with, throughout the whole entire thing. And yes, they did change, but not as drastically as um, it's that first two weeks where I didn't drink it with a straw at all, so definitely use that if you have clear elastics or clear braces, always drink through a straw, um, it, it just, it helps a lot. Um, my second tip would to be, um, go ahead and invest in these types of picks, and what these essentially are, um, uh, they kind of look like a spoolie brush. Um, it, what they are really good used for. One second. What they essentially are. Here is one of mine. They're kind of. This one's used. So it kind of has a bend to it. But what they're really good for is getting it in between your brackets and cleaning any of the gunk out of them. Um, I carry. I carry these with me in my purse, and when I go to work, if you go to school, they're great for your backpack. And I know a lot of people with braces have these, um, and it's great when you don't have time to brush your teeth, just to push these through um, all of your brackets to get all of the debris out. Um, every time I eat, I use these, even if I'm eating something that really doesn't get in between my teeth, there's going to be food in between them, so go ahead and use that to clean everything out. Now something else I would invest in in getting, which is really, really helpful, is a water pack. Now I have one that is a full one with a plug. Um, I like these best because they're not as heavy when you have like the wireless ones where you're holding all your water in your hand at the same time. You can get heavy, you can tie out your arm, and you just don't want to do that. Um, so I have mine that just goes on the counter. I got it at um, Walmart for like about, I want to say I got it for like about 40 bucks. It wasn't that expensive. Um, so I would go ahead and invest in one of those um, if you're about to get braces. Um, to start using them even before you get your braces because it's pretty, it's pretty powerful and if your gums aren't used to it, they will bleed. Um, I use my setting now on number 5 out of 10. Um, when I first started using it, I put it all the way to one um, because it was just, again, it was that strong, intense um, force on um, my gums and it was really, really painful. But use it because it'll also help out even without your little picks. Um, 
it'll help get everything out of your brackets and out of your teeth and make sure your teeth are nice and clean. Um, so yeah, I would definitely get one of those. The next thing I would invest in is wax. And when I mean invest in, I mean make sure you use it. Um, your orthodontics will give you obviously a little goodie bag that has things in it like little flossers for like normal floss um, where you start it through your needle but they will also give you wax. Wax is your best friend when it comes to braces and your brackets. Uh, when I talk about having all those little sores in my mouth, um, what will prevent them and honestly heal them once you have them is applying wax to your brackets. It's just this little um, wax that you roll up in your hand, get it nice and warm so it's pliable, stick it to your brackets, it's clear. Once it is honestly solidified onto your bracket, it is very non-visible when you're talking to someone or anything like that and it'll honestly just kind of like a band-aid for your sore but you're putting it on your bracket opposed to um, your inner cheek or mouth or lip or at wherever it is and trust me you're going to want to do it because those are honestly some of the things that are most painful about your braces are those sores in your mouth. So that was like kind of my little update and some helpful hints for your braces, kind of like some life hacks. Um, I'm sure I'll come up with more along the way, but those are just kind of like the basics I feel like that are very, very important when it comes to keeping your mouth um, pain-free and clean. Um, yeah, and just with elastics, I know they're going to be painful, but wear them. Um, it's just if they're orthodontics recommends to wear them all the time except for eating, do it because it will help your smile um, just kind of get fixed quickly and just be more efficient. So wear them. If you have to wear them at night, make sure you wear them at night. You're sleeping. They really shouldn't be bothering you because um, you're asleep. Um, but yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already if you want more abrasive updates like this. Um, I also post Disney videos, so if you want to watch some of those, go ahead and watch those where I walk around Disney World and do fun things there. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!